Well, hello everybody, it's Big Al. I am testing out a new camera and uh, I have no clue how to use it, so uh, <laughs> this is gonna be a real hoot. Uh, this is a challenge lock I have in the vise here. Um, it's in the open position at the moment. Um, honestly, I just got this recently from, uh, this one's from Bear's Back and it's called uh, the Virgo, you see that? It's called the Virgo Maiden, created by, uh, let me see, Star Lizard? This is what it says. And uh, while I was picking it, I noticed the front of it flopping around. And this piece right here, it's just a, a lid. It just kind of was flopping off, so I just took it off. It ain't got nothing to do with the pick. So I'm going to just leave it off. I'll stick it back on when I send it back out. But any hoodles enough jibber jabber uh, I'm gonna go ahead and oh there's a key obviously Duh. there's a bidding on the key not too horrendous looking but I can promise you there's got to be at least one t-pin in there because this thing just whipped my arse I'll lock it back up go ahead and run the key through it so we can show it works works nice okay I'm going to be using top of the keyway tension and I'm going to start out with this uh, I don't know what you call it it's from the Sparrows Monstrum XXL set I call it the banana pick it's kind of or a swoop I don't know but uh, I had to use it because uh, this lock is tough man it doesn't play well with others it's a beast Honestly, I just needed a, a strong pick. That's what it came down to. That's how I got it open last time. That's what I'm going to try again. Like I said, I know there's there's got to be at least one T pin because because oh. uh this thing jacked me up, man. Now let me go back to uh use this other uh kind of short hook, I guess you call it. Start off again with. I've got, I don't want to call it a false set, but I do have a slight turn on the core. Yeah. And if I remember right, this is about where I got. And the whole thing just stopped it just gave up on me like it's doing now yep It's a tough cookie, man. Right, let me try this other pick again.
Okay, back to the short hook. I'm going to try to find that damn T pin. Things a little booger. All right, back to the swoop or whatever you want to call it. We got that killer fall set. Okay, now got to find that, which I think it's in the back, if I remember right. Got to find that T pin that rocked my world. Son of a gun. All right. I've got a heck of a mess on my table over here. All right. Let's see. I don't know what kind of time we're in. Uh, I have no clue. This thing's not showing me time, I don't think. Of course not. Why would it? All right. We'll just keep going and see what happens. All right. Get some of this stuff out of the way here. Keep that in the frame right there. Okay, bring the camera down right here. I think I can zoom out a little bit. Let me see what it looks like on the pinning tray. Yeah. All right, we'll see how that works. I do have a key, so I'm going to lock it back up. You see it's unlocked. Let's see what we got here. Uh, it's going to be one of those that are going to take longer to get the clip off than it does to pick the damn lock. I hope not. Okay, let's see what we can do here. Let's see what kind of damage we can do. Whoa, all right. Shimmy, shimmy, shim. That wasn't so bad. All right, the pin should be on my side over here. Yep. All right. As we can see, we've got five pins. I will dump them accordingly. All right. 
Actually, I don't know which way that one goes. It's kind of a... Jeez, I don't know. That can go either way. It's not quite a key pin. Yeah, those are kind of... Those are kind of funky, I don't know. Even the first one. Oh, maybe that's the rounded end, I don't know. Those are pretty pretty funky looking. Maybe really, really used or something. I don't know. All right, should be focused good because I don't need to focus it, I don't think. The camera's supposed to be a uh, badass on its own. All right, and number one is a little teeny tiny uh, serrated spring then number two is a uh, spool Three was a, what do you call that, a drunken spool? It had a, uh, it had this dude here with a uh, wafer floating on the top of it. I'm going to put it like it was in there. Down here. Yeah, that's why it was, I'd get a gnarly deep fall set. And then it would rock my world. Okay, where are we at? This was in uh, four. Kind of a really deep uh, wide serration or a spool with a really skinny top on it that would jack your world up. This was a hell of a lock, man. All right, and last but not least, we try to, oh, it's just uh, serrated all the way up. Okay, last spring. Right there. Okay, I don't think, uh, where's my pokey? Uh, one, two, three, four, and five. Okay, nothing's done up top to the Bible part, the top part. Uh, the core, I forgot to look at. Uh, No threading, but I can see some uh, definite undercuts in number two and four. Maybe. Th okay, two, three, and four. Two, three, and four has got undercuts in them. Two and four are really wide, and then three, I can feel it grabbing on three, so I'd say two, three, and four. Okay, bada boom, bada bang. Bring some light over this way a little bit. And that is the Virgo Maiden by uh, Star Lizard. As you can see on the key tag there, if it's, if it's focusing for me. Um, here we go with the pins. Hopefully that's working. It's supposed to have really good focus. Uh... Key pins. First one is a serrated. Second one is kind of like one of those bomb looking things with the fat part down here and kind of a, a spool on the top. Uh, number three is uh, serrated. Four is another like mini bomb looking thing with a serration on the top of, or a spool on the top here. Five, almost the same thing. Another bigger looking, I call them like bombs. They look like bombs. And then, uh, 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 yeah. Upper pins, number one, a really short, uh, fully serrated thing. God damn it. Number two, I'd call that a spool with uh, serrations on the top part right here. Three was that, I think it's called a drunken spool because that uh, pin part floats around on top of this uh, wafer. 
and four, I'd call that a spool, and five serrated all the way up. God damn it. And springs uh, are all pretty much the same. This one looks a little different. It may just be because it's old. All right. The Virgo Maiden. My Star Loser. Thank you guys so much for watching. I highly appreciate it. And I really, really hope this camera worked out. Because <laughs> it cost a lot. All right. Albert signing off.